Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about air brakes and specifically the air dryer. I had a comment from Mike9889 and Noah Ark. Both of them wanted a bit more information about the air dryer. The air dryer on all vehicles is located between the compressor and the first air tank, whether that's the supply tank or if it's an ADIS system, an air dryer integrated system, it'll be located between the air compressor and the two tanks, the primary and secondary tank in the system. In this day and age, all air dryers look the same. They look like a top hat. They can be located pretty much anywhere on the vehicle. I've seen them on the front of the truck, underneath the cab, and up underneath the frame at the back of the cab. So they're in different places on the cab. Essentially, all they do is clean the air. They remove moisture and other contaminants that are found in the air after the air is compressed and as well prevent freezing in the system. So today we're going to give you a bit more information about that. We're going to go over the older systems that have supply tanks and we're going to go over the new modern air brake systems that have ADIS systems, air dryer integrated systems, which have made the wet tank redundant. So stick around. We'll be right back with that information. Smart Drivers, welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about air brakes and specifically the air dryer. The air dryer, simplistically speaking, removes moisture and other contaminants from the compressed air before it enters the main air brake system. And by removing contaminants, it prevents damage to the system and removing water it prevents or eliminates or reduces the chance of that water freezing in the main air brake system and causing it to fail during cold weather. All air dryers are plumbed in between the compressor and the first tank. On older systems, that first tank is going to be the wet tank and it's called the wet tank because the hot air that comes out of the compressor goes into the wet tank, it cools, and the moisture inside of the air comes in contact with the cold metal of the tank and the water inside condenses. On older systems you needed a wet tank because the air dryers were not very efficient. You got a fair bit of moisture and that moisture was collected in the wet tank and drained and expelled from the system before it could do damage or potentially cause freezing in the winter time. Now, simply speaking, air dryers are nothing more than a filtration system. The air dryer itself is filled with a desiccant and essentially a desiccant is nothing more than kitty litter. And the compressed air under high pressure is forced through the kitty litter and the kitty litter collects the moisture and desiccant that is found in the compressed air. When the system attains maximum pressure on most systems, that's going to be between 100 pounds and 135 pounds. Most systems in this day and age are going to run, run around 125 pounds per square inch mark. When the air brake system attains maximum pressure, the air dryer purges or expels and it kicks out all of the contaminants. So if the vehicle has been the air brake vehicle has been sitting there running for a while, you'll begin to see a spot on the ground of a bit of moisture and whatnot. If you see an excessive amount of moisture, that means there's something wrong with the air dryer. But for the most part, you'll just see a bit of moisture on the ground. As well, when the vehicle's idling and you're walking by and it goes and it scares the crap out of you. <laughs> That's the air dryer and you know that the system is at maximum pressure because the air dryer purges at maximum pressure. So you'll know what it is and when you're doing your in-cab pre-trip inspection and you're waiting for the system to attain maximum pressure, the first thing you're going to hear is the air dryer. And as many driver's manuals state, the air dryer is not the only indicator that the air brake system is at maximum pressure. Yes, it is the first indicator, but you must also look at the gauges and confirm that in fact the system is between 100 pounds and 135 pounds to confirm that in fact it is at maximum pressure. But because we react to sound first, we're going to hear the air dryer purge. Uh, some of the newer systems, the air dryer is actually going to be quite so you're going to have to roll down your window and listen for that air dryer to purge to know that the system is at maximum pressure. So on older systems, it's going to have a wet tank. The air dryer is going to be between the compressor and the wet tank. It will purge at maximum pressure. It is a filtration system that's filled with desiccant. And as I said in the introduction, these air dryers can be located in a number of places on the vehicle. On Freightliners, they're up in the passenger corner right up underneath the engine compartment. On Western Stars, I've seen them up underneath the cab. And on an International, I've seen them at the back of the cab, up underneath the frame. So I've seen them in different locations uh, throughout the vehicle on different makes and models. So you just have to look around. 
Most of them in this day and age are all gonna be shaped like a top hat and you can see a picture of one here in the image and you see that shape and you know it's gonna be the air dryer. I have seen on some really, really old trucks, 1980s and 1990s, they are a bit different shape, but for the most part, they're gonna be the same shape and easy to locate. When you do your pre-trip inspection, you just basically look at them. There's no excessive amount of moisture or water underneath the air dryer and as well, they're not cracked or damaged and they don't have any leaks. So essentially that's all you have to do for a pre-trip inspection. And it will be the indicator that the system is at maximum pressure as I already went over. On an older system, you're gonna have a wet tank and for the purposes of a pre-trip inspection, after you secure the vehicle by chalking the wheels and releasing the parking brakes, you're gonna drain the wet tank. And the reason you drain the wet tank first is to check to make sure that the two one-way check valves at the entrance to the primary and secondary tank are operating normally because those two one-way check valves are primarily responsible for the division of the air brake system into a primary and secondary subsystem. So on older systems that have a wet tank, that's the first thing you're gonna have to do. And to locate the wet tank on an older system, go into the truck, take note of what the air pressure is on the gauges, go out and start draining tanks. The tank that doesn't drain the gauges on the dash is your wet tank because the wet tank doesn't have a gauge on it. Most modern air brake systems all have ADIS systems, air dryer integrated systems, which essentially means that they have eliminated the wet tank. So they don't have a wet tank on them. There are two characteristics that will tell you you have an ADIS system on an air dryer. The first characteristic is that the governor will be within close proximity of the air dryer. And you can see that here in the image that it's right beside the air dryer. So that's your first indication that you have an ADIS system and don't have a wet tank. The second indicator is that when you pump up the system and build pressure in the cab and you're watching the gauges, one system will fill first, either the primary or secondary, or build up to approximately 100 pounds, and then the other system will begin to pump up. That's the other indicator that you know you have an ADIS system. Now, if you have an ADIS system, you don't have to drain the wet tank, obviously, because you don't have a wet tank. However, when you do get in the cab, after doing your outside uh, pre-trip inspections, you do need to take note of the needles the air pressure needles and tell the examiner that they haven't dropped, which indicates that the one-way check valves at the entrance of the primary and secondary system uh, are working correctly and that you more or less know for the most part that the division of the two secondary and primary systems are working and functioning normally. So what we're gonna do here is I've got access to a truck and we're just gonna go out and have a look at the truck and I'll show you a little bit out at the truck about a modern ADIS system. So this truck is a newer model truck. This truck has what is called an ADIS system, which is an air dryer integrated system. And you can tell that it's an air dryer integrated system because you can see that the governor is right here beside the air dryer. And that's your indication that you have an ADIS system. All an ADIS system means is that the system does not have a wet tank on it. It only has a secondary and a primary tank. Essentially what's happened is, is that the air dryer is so effective that it's made the wet tank redundant and they no longer use it. If you have an older system, you're gonna have to drain the wet tank first. If you know you have an ADIS system, the driving school will teach you that, that you have an ADIS system and you don't have to drain the wet tank. You just indicate to the examiner that you have an ADIS system. And that's indicated by the fact that the governor is right beside the air dryer. So basically all you inspect here Governor, air dryer, secure, not damaged, not leaking. All the lines, hoses and wires are secure, not damaged. And you can tell you have air lines back here as well because you have air suspension on the cab. And that's essentially what you inspect at this juncture. Quick review of air dryers on air brake equipped vehicles. On all vehicles, the air dryer is plumbed into the system between the air compressor and the first tanks. On an older system, that first tank is gonna be the wet tank. On a newer system, it's gonna be the secondary and primary tanks. As well, all the air dryers are shaped the same. They look like a top hat and they will be found in different places on the vehicle depending on the make of the vehicle. Some vehicles will be in the engine compartment up on the passenger side, other vehicles they'll be up underneath the cab, and other ones will be behind the cab in bolted to the frame. The air dryer is nothing more than a filtration system that's filled with desiccant or kitty litter that the compressed air is forced through it and it removes contaminants and moisture from the compressed air. At maximum air pressure of the air brake system, it expels or purges the contaminants and moisture out onto the ground. And if the vehicle's been sitting there idling for a while, you'll see a bit of a moisture spot on the ground. As well, 
it is the first indicator that you know that the air brake system is at maximum pressure but it is not the only indicator and for some driving tests you can't use the air dryer purging as the only indicator that the system is at maximum pressure when the system is at maximum pressure i hear I see, so you have to check the gauges and ensure that the gauges in fact are at maximum pressure between 100 and 135 pounds per square inch. On modern air brake systems, air dryers have become so efficient in removing contaminants and moisture from the air in the air brake system that they have made the wet tank redundant and on modern air brake systems we no longer have air tanks. However, all the manuals will tell you that you still need to drain the air tanks daily, 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 even though there's very little moisture in them. That's the answer to the question on the test. Air dryers, very effective and they are more or less a standard feature of modern air brake systems. Uh, some of the driver's manuals will tell you that they are optional. They're not optional anymore. You'll find them on every air brake system and they have been for decades on air brake systems. Unfortunately, as I've stated in previous videos, most jurisdictions are still teaching a 40 year old air brake course and that's unfortunate because that needs to be revisited. Question for my smart drivers. Uh, where is the air dryer located on your air brake equipped vehicle? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers coming into the industry. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. As well, hit that thumbs up button. Check out all the videos on the channel if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. Lots of great information here as well. Head over to my website, lots of great information there as well. Stick around to the end of the video, links to other videos and great information for you to be successful in your endeavors of getting your license. Thanks again for watching. Good luck in your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now. Back, Rick with Smart Drive Test talking today about air brakes and specifically the air dryer. The air dryer, simplistically speaking, 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 ah, uh, speaking.